Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Eglin's Best. These are new uh, omelets, sausage, and cheese. It's cage-free eggs filled with sausage and cheddar cheese. Excellent source of vitamins D, E, and B12. There are two omelets in the package, 7.8 ounces or 222 grams. I'm assuming that's for both of them. Uh, it looks pretty good. We bought these at Kroger. It was $4.49, but you get two, so that's what, um, $2.25 each? I don't, I don't think that's too awful bad. So each omelet is 111 grams, 220 calories, 440 calories if you eat both omelets, of course. Um, there's your other info. Calculate whatever you want to from there. There you go. Um, there's just a little information about them. And yeah. Okay. So here's the directions. So we're going to, uh, these are frozen, by the way. So we're going to leave the omelet in the wrapper and open one end. Microwave on high. One omelet, we're gonna do one minute, flip it, and then microwave for another minute. If you do two omelets, you're gonna do two minutes, flip it, and then do two minutes. So you basically just double it. Let's cool for 30 seconds, and then remove from wrapper and enjoy. So I am gonna probably just do one. It is, uh, it's got like a flip top box, and it's taped. So there is the omelet. So you literally just open one end and put it on, I'll probably put it on a paper plate, just to make it easier to get out of the microwave, but that's it. That's all you do. So I will uh, get this in the microwave be back when it comes out. All right, so here it is out of the microwave and I haven't done it. I've let it set like it said to. And if I can find the open end, which is open, there it is. <laughs> it was hidden from me. So I'm gonna open this up and it's super hot. I'm gonna leave it on the plastic just so it won't stick to the paper because you know how eggs are gonna stick to paper. Flip it over just so it won't get wet. So I wanted to cut this, um, for you to let you see kind of what it looks like inside before I take it over to the table. Uh, there's some cheese and, and sausage in there. You can definitely see it. It's not um, super thick. Like if I made if I made them at home, you know, I'm gonna pile that stuff up in there and the, the eggs are gonna be like domed on the top. But um, this looks like a really good amount for uh, for our lunch. So I'm gonna let this set for it to cool off for just uh, uh, not very long at all because eggs get pretty cold quick. But uh, let it cool off for just a second and then uh, I'll be back. Hey, I gave it just a look up, like maybe a minute at the most to cool off. Cut it into smaller pieces just so I could do the video easier. But here we go. Now that was a bite from like the fold side. I also want to try a bite from the the edge side. Um, that has a very buttery, creamy flavor to it. So like if you, so you made scrambled eggs with milk and you whip them up really good and you get that like buttery kind of creamy uh, texture and flavor, that's what those taste like. And it could be the cheese, could be the eggs, could be a mixture of the both. Um, the sausage has some spice to it so you get a little tingle in the back of your throat. I like that the eggs are good and tender and they have a good amount of moisture in them. So they're a moist egg. They're not a dried up scrambled egg, which is really good. Um, I like that. The, uh, the fold side's a little uh, more tender than the edge side, but the edge side's still really good and it's not dried out by any means. I just want you to know there is a difference. And I like the seasoning on the um the sausage it's, it's a nice seasoning the first bite i took was a little um like spicy in the back of your throat but um the bite since then haven't been that way so it's like that first initial burst of spice and then you're you get used to it and it's not spicy anymore so um and don't think it's spicy like it's not like hot sauce spicy it's just like you know regular savory sausage spice you know that's what it tastes like so i think these are really good um I wish there was a little bit more ingredients. If there were more stuff in, more sausage and stuff in there, I'd probably give it a five. But there's not quite enough sausage for me. I wish there was a little bit more. The flavor is there for sure, but um, I wish there's a little more sausage in there so it's a little more substantial. So I'm gonna give it a four, solid four. Definitely recommend these if you like an omelet um, and you like that uh, creamy, eggy, uh, buttery kind of flavor, then you, I think you'll really like these. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.